it is what it is you're watching howie tv and i'm back in the city of churches the lovely adelaide south australia representing to catch up with this gentleman right here you may know him with his affiliation with pagan ellipsis but he's stepping out onto his own get a bit of that sunshine for himself please <laughs> welcome purpose how you doing man good man what's up i'm just chilling man chilling. thanks for having us in your lovely city eh? hey thank you for coming down <laughs> it's a pleasure cool, cool now i mentioned um the three-part series of if the city had a voice correct correct mixtape uh it's crazy to have three to have you know one two three uh what was the mind state behind that was it always going to be a series or did it just sort of take its um originally it was just a one it was just the first mixtape uh, and then i started working on you know i did a project with motive i did a pagan ellipsis project i did a few other things um but then when I realized I wanted to do a few more new solo releases, the first thing that came to mind was just picking up where we left off. So we did City Had a Voice Part 2 with Hacksaw, uh, the DJ from Pagan Ellipsis and my DJ. And um, yeah, wrapped it really quickly. I mean, I spent a lot of time in the studio anyway, so it was more just about finishing things off the second I start something and putting it out there, really. Nice. And, 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 and Safa, just off air, uh, mentioned where do you get all the time to do all these mixtapes? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I work full time. You know, I got a friends and family and a girlfriend and shit like that. So I don't know where I find the time. I just just make it. Sleep less. <laughs> Peach iced tea, Lipton, water, <laughs> Jacks, things like that. Um, Classic. The amount of effort that goes into making a mixtape, because you know you don't want to be half assed when, when when doing any sort of release. Correct. So. Do you feel like you, with all this effort going into the mixtapes, you could have actually created a proper album, or do you think this is like a great um, like practice ground? To yeah, it, it really is. It's um, the mixtapes. If anything, were me trying to learn my studio, the the second and third right. parts. So for me to have a, you know, at the end of the recording process, as a forty song run up is perfect because I don't even I didn't know how to mix until City Part Two. So. Part two and part three, I mix myself. The album, I mix myself. Having two more releases full of beats as well just allows me to clean everything up and keep everything where it should be. Yeah, yeah. and then obviously uh, there's a, uh, a proper album in the works. There is a proper album. My album's actually finished as well. Uh, it's called Where It Starts. I should never run because every time I step into a contest I get to back the way you feel the system like it's a porn press Keynote speak, you know, eat your need It's just a unique flow to make it all seem so seamless I'm the reason these MCs seem so squeamish With my middle finger up, yup, see low green and It's an album I've been working on for a long time, so that's what I put the most work into and all of the work up until this point is to put me in the best position to make the best album Right, right, for sure, for sure Now, yes. finally, um... Just referencing a track from the If the City Had a Voice uh, Part 3, the yeah. song Seasons. Correct. Uh, in there you mentioned that you used to listen to Nas on the way to high school. Yeah. Um, from... I'm a discman. Yeah, from half time to one mic. So yeah. I'm a big Nas fan as well, so I'm curious, what would your top three Nas albums be and why? <sighs> top three albums? Yeah, for Nas. Oh man, that's easy. That's easy. Illmatic, for one, is number one. Still Maddox number two and Lost Tapes has got to be three. I mean, Lost Tapes is a collection of left off material, which is to me classic. It's, it's classic nuts. So it's crazy, like to think that these tracks got left off. Yeah, and songs like Purple and songs like that. I was listening to them a lot in high school as well. So yeah, yeah, definitely classics. Sweet, sweet purpose. Thank you very much for joining me. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Easy. What's up, this is Purpose, you're now tuning into Howie TV. I'm debuting a brand new song off my new album, Where It Starts. Come be a part of it. Those ellipsis boys, make a life at a party. Slip those ellipsis boys, make a life at a party. Mic check, one, two, one, two I'm about to, I'm about to get, get loose I said, mic check, one, two, one, two I'm about to, I'm about to, uh. Uh, uh. It's that point of drunk where everything goes numb It's when I start to slow down Switch to rum Now we can't find a cabbie brave enough to pick us up But if I only get one life then I'ma live it up Now we all over the city like nickel sized pupils All glass Bacardi line business as usual Order the whole kit and caboodle Then wake up in a storage fridge with a 